Okay, in our previous videos, we looked at working with users in Microsoft Entra ID. Now let's talk about working with groups. So I'm going to go, I'm here on my home screen in uh, Azure. So I'm going to go to Entra ID. And here I can manage users and groups. And we might take a look at some of these other things a little bit later on. But for the moment, we're going to go with groups. And we've already created a couple of users. Just to remind you, if you haven't watched the previous videos yet, let me go ahead and show you. I have three users created. We have my account that I created or that I used when I uh, signed up for the... Um, the student license for Azure. Um, we manually created Fred Weasley, and then we used the bulk create to create George Weasley. Okay, I want to create a group, and I want to add Fred and George to this group. So I'm going to come to my groups, and I'm going to create. Now, this is going to show me all of my existing groups. This will show me my deleted groups. Uh, diagnose and solve problems, look for group settings, for activity related to groups. Okay, I'm going to come back up here to, whoops, overview is going to tell me total groups, how many are dynamic, how many are Microsoft 365, how many are security, cloud, on-prem, okay, and then tutorials for dealing with them as well. Okay, Let's come back to all groups and we're going to create a new group and so across the top here you can see we can do a new group we can download our groups refresh this page manage the view delete a group I'm going to click on new group now I've got two different types and notice all these little eyes if you hover over it it'll give you information so I have two different types of groups I can have a security group or a 365 group and this right here will tell you the difference security groups used to give group membership access to applications resources blah 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 uh, Microsoft 365 are used for collaboration shared mailbox calendar files SharePoint site things like that Okay, I want to do this as a security group. If I want to change this, I just click the drop down to select the next one. But I want to do this as a security group. And then I'm going to set a name of the group. And just for the fun of it, we're going to do troublemakers. Okay, and then we're going to set a group description. So right here, we can, and you don't need it. So we have an asterisk here by group type, an asterisk by group name. Those are both required. The uh, description is not required. Neither is the membership type because that's going to default. We're going to talk about that in a minute. So I'm going to add a description to limit permissions of known troublemakers. Okay. Membership type. Now, there are two options, and you'll notice that's grayed out. And that's grayed out for me because I'm on a uh, temporary student demo license, a free student account. So it doesn't give me that option, but I basically have two options. I have an assigned or a dynamic membership. Now, what this means, an assigned membership means I manually assign group members or somebody does, it doesn't have to be me, but it has to be somebody with the permissions to do that. So we manually put people in, take people out of the group. Dynamic membership is based on uh, searching active or searching entry ID, searching all the users and groups and looking for specific key things. So for example, I had both of these in the department of Gryffindor. So I could create a group for Gryffindor and say, look through and find everybody whose department is Gryffindor, put them in this group. And that will automatically add and remove people. So as it is, if, let's say this is a troublemakers group, I'm manually signing. If I decide George is no longer a troublemaker, I have to manually take him out. Let's say instead we had a dynamic group and George was in Gryffindor, so he had that description. Let's say we changed that description from Gryffindor to graduated, and then that takes him out of that Gryffindor group. Okay. Owners are people who have the power to control a group and outside of group uh, administrators or global administrators. I'm going to go ahead and select an owner just so you can see it, and I'm going to make myself owner of this group. And then I can also set members. So I'm going to come over here. Oops, I forgot to hit the select button. 
select. Now I have one owner selected. Let me go to members and notice it's showing me my users. It's also showing me my groups and I can because you can make a group a part of a group. So I can filter this down by users or by groups or by devices or by enterprise applications. I can use this search here. I'm going to filter this to users and I'm just going to add Fred and George Weasley. They both pop up over here selected. And when I hit the select button, they are now members of my group. So I click create and it works on creating the group troublemakers. Now let me refresh this and there is my troublemakers group. So now that I have this group, I can select it and delete the group. I can download all of my groups. Um, I can click on my troublemakers and view my group settings, including adding new people to it or taking people out, view group memberships, view group owners. And now I can manage my group however I want to. Okay, so there we go. We have created and now seen how we can manage a group in Microsoft Entra.